Hello YouTube, this is Jason Rostein with Epic Games. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. In the last three tutorials, I show you how to use Visit, how to download it, install it, configure it, then how to test it, then how to do some basic Python scripts. In this tutorial, we want to take a step a little bit back and show you more in detail uh, the, gra the options that you have in the graphical user interface and the viewer window because I think you'll you'll find them very useful. So for example, right now I have the active source here. It's got the solution VTK. And this is what we use in uh, one of my other tutorials. This is the solution to the Poisson Laplace equation in one and one. And let's uh, show you. operator transform. Let's show you how to elevate it and then draw it again and now you, it gives you some elevation i want to show you the profile and that's the i we did this in one of my other past tutorials this is the one but now let's say that you want to exchange files and you want to open different files and that uh, how do we do this the first thing you need to do is delete this one and go here into the uh, database section here. Right now you see that even though I closed it, it's still active. So you wanna find one that you wanna use. So you go into open and you find one. I mean, it's gonna keep a track of of uh, the uh, most the path that you have used the most. So like we've been working with DL.2 a lot. So it's going to show you the examples, but it's also going to show you other ones that you've been using. So in this case, I'm using uh, visit class data from the visit uh, files. So let's find one that we you can use. Let's do the reg 3 d It's very popular. So let's use it. Let's open it. And all of a sudden, it made it active. It hasn't shown you anything in the screen yet, but it made it active. So now we go into add. And we go into pseudo color, and all of a sudden, it's giving me variables that were not there before. They were not there as an option when I had solution open, because it he knows what is relevant and what is not relevant to your particular uh, active source. So in this case, it's giving you things that are relevant to that plot, to that solution. So in this case, if I choose the D variable. And uh, I hit draw, it's giving me the variable D in pseudo color with the max and the min, right? And it's giving me things that are relevant to that particular plot. So now, and I'll give you another example. If I now want to change one from this one to another one, so now I go back here. And I want to say open. I want to. I want something that is got. Um, let's do this one. This is a nice one. And now I changed it to a wave. Two things have happened. A, this guy is still there. And B, this section here, this timer section, is is uh, all of a sudden is active. Before it was grayed out. And there's a reason why. So let's first of all delete this guy and now add something that we can do with this one. And you can see that there's other ones that were not there before. So now let's just add pressure to it and let's draw it. But before, let's draw it. Now it's giving you this nice wave right here. Right, and I'm putting it in a, in a way that you can see the axis. This is fine for now. And now I'm going to use the timer so you can see uh, all of a sudden I went to zero, and you saw that it went, it restarted itself. Okay, and now I'm going to start the animation. It's a nice wave, and it's uh, going back and forth between 0 and 10. 
and you can right now the variable that I'm using is pressure and uh, it's going up and down and you can stop it or if you want to go one step at a time and you want to see the wave length the throw the throw on the peak you can do it this way and it's a really nice animation and like i said try uh, visit is very it's a very powerful library you can also add other things to it things that are going to uh i don't know how many of these will apply to it but um you can create find one that that applies to it an uh, operator and you can add it to it you can also add other variables like in this case instead of v uh, instead of i'm gonna also add a u pressure so let's redo it again and now that's a different one this now is using u actually now it's using you before it was just using pressure i had to hit draw again so now it's using you and it's uh it's not only using as you can see oops i want to show you these from the it's using you and it's using pressure and if you want to know more you can go into the user manual into the documentation and it will show you the differences of each one and and, and and how they all relate to your um, particular um, active source that you choose but this is uh, what I wanted to show you in this tutorial and the other tutorials so we're gonna start digging deeper into the library and seeing uh, how it can help you create great simulations and great visualizations of your particular solutions and your particular applications but this is the end of this tutorial if you like this tutorial please click the like box subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time with another tutorial take care